theorizing the weekly UFO review number five. I'm Braden. I'm Zell. I'm Dan. And Zell is an alien because, first, well, for obvious reasons. Because I am. Um, but we've been having Skype issues all morning with his Skype not wanting to work, so... Solar uh, storms, neutrinos, yeah, all the bunch, work. Of, bunch of technical junk you uh, you people probably wouldn't understand. Yeah, so we can't, <laughs> we can't project Zell, so we have to project to you Zell's true form. Which well, his which filters is. aren't working. So um, if he comes back during it, maybe I'll throw him on. Uh, anyways, we got a ton of uh, interesting UFO cases. Um, for this week we got a little extra because this week there's a little bonus because there was two videos that i've been sitting on and there's there's going to be no in between on these last two for this for this uh event it's either going to be unequivocal gimbals across the board or absolute hoaxes there is no there is no number in between uh so it'll be fun to uh get into those ones here so without further ado, the first video comes from Chillicott, Ohio, USA, uh, 2021, September 29th. Um, this was the fast, bright, switching directions like crazy. They said they were on their porch. The light caught their eye. Thought maybe a bright star, but it was so erratic. There was no way it was a star or plane. Uh, the elevation of it changed a lot. So we're, as we're looking at this, we see... Whoa. That's, a, that's some of that hyper movement. Saw it moving towards the roof and then zipping away. Oh, whoa, whoa. And whoa. it's gone. Whoa. Back. I mean, I see the camera moving. <laughs> is, that, is that the roof? There we go. That's the roof, yeah. Landscape people. Uh, it's a great, great underside of the gutter there. And there's the second one. He obviously caught it again. And this was MUFON case 118352. Glowing orb. See, it's it's tough because it, it might be moving in this shot, but there's nothing to reference it. Like, get that camera landscape. It's definitely moving a little bit. Oh, yeah, definitely moving because that one. It, when you see the roof, you can see that it is moving a little bit. Well, I think so far the best shot of this thing moving was uh, at the beginning of it when we kind of right here. Like, see, you can see, definitely see some good movement there, right? When when yeah, it's the roofs and camera view you have something to anchor it so i just want to go back just to the first part where we saw the roof right here you see it coming towards and then it kind of shoots back right like a little bit um it's hard to see any flicking lights i i don't see anything like that on there um we've got oh. the the telltale signs of like the fast changing in motion I will say at first glance for me, it does kind of seemingly move similar to a drone. Like that's what my yeah. brain goes to. The quick, uh, quick change in directions. I think the, uh, be well, because we don't really in the beginning of the video, like you said, we don't have the, uh, we don't have the roof for a uh, frame of reference or in terms of movement. And the first, big jumps that, you know, if people were watching this video, they'd be like, wow, yeah, look at that. And that to me just looks like the guy or the person who's filming it just move the camera a little bit quick. Cause it just, it, it goes down, goes back up and it's like, it's still tracking, but it's still, it's not exactly moving or anything like that. It's not close enough to like, to look like it's actually the, the, the object is moving as opposed to the person that the, the, the phone. <laughs> Well, um, you, you, but at that last part, it just looks like it's just like it, when we do get the the roof in frame, uh, it just looks like it just kind of it's not moving very quickly. It looks like it has a pretty um, solid line of movement, like it's just, but it's not it's not moving in any kind of like uh, 
it's not moving in a very unusual way. It kind of moves, could be a satellite. I will give you the benefit of the doubt that, well, I'll, I'll agree with you on the fact that at the beginning of this video, it is the whatever we're looking at is moving. And when it seems to be moving at extreme rates of speed, I also think that's probably because it's moving and the person is moving, jerking the camera to try to keep up with it. And you get that like blur of flash that gives it the kind of appearance that it's darting much quicker than it maybe actually is. Um, Zella, any last things before we zero to gimbal? Yeah, I agree. It, it, the erratic movement looks more to a camera operator error, but there does seem to be a change in direction. It just doesn't seem to be that wild. Hey, looking oh, back. Hey, you took off my filter. Yeah. <laughs> Your human form's back. My human form has been revealed. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It just uh, there's not a lot to go on. It's just a, it's just a light, moving um, light. Grade right. it. Dan, why don't you start your grading zero to gimbal? Uh, I'd probably give it a one. I think it's it looks more like a, it looks like it just has a really continuous unbroken line of movement so i don't to me uh again I, zell said it maybe camera camera operator error in the very beginning to make it look like it is kind of jumping back and forth but um i don't see anything really unusual maybe a satellite maybe an alien satellite well, so one one for me i'm gonna mirror dan with a one uh, it looks it looks kind of natural either man-made or some type of yeah, I think it's man-made satellite or drone, perhaps. Or, I mean, it could be an aircraft or that, like a distant aircraft through, like, the fog or something. But not not enough to go on. And, you know, a, be a better camera shot needed. Yeah. Um, now, I, I'll, I'll also agree. Usually, when my brain instantly jumps to drone, I need something else then to get my brain to go, well, well, the can't be a drone because of xyz and we just don't have that here and it, it looks like what i've seen a drone do so to me i think this is in fact a drone with a light on um high up you know that's why we get those uh we we get those high elevation changes so i'm gonna go across the i'm gonna go a one as well i'm not gonna give it a, the absolute stinker of a zero the goose egg because I don't know quite for sure, right? I don't have a picture of the said drone or anything, but uh, I agree with you guys. We'll go one across the floor for 28. You know what I need? I need a little scorecard thing, like <laughs> that, that I can throw up. Um, maybe I'll work on that today. And then, like, uh, for as, if we ever give a zero, they're like, da -da 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 wow. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. This next video. Uh, comes in from uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, this is UF MUFON case 118419. It's a, a video of an unknown aerial phenomenon. A very, very large ball of different covered lights seen at an angle over my house prior to complete darkness. At first glance, it appeared to be a star. However, zero were visible at that time. Ball of light was stationary at first, then moved at incredible speed until the object flew out of sight. Oh, so. a pretty, pretty big glowing orb for, I mean, we're at, we're just before dusk here. Fucking landscape, people. It's easy. Just t <laughs> turn it sideways. Is this the same video? Just this same video landscape? Zoom no, I zoom this in for us. Whenever there's one worth a zoom at the end, uh, that's on me, baby. Um, all right, let's go back to the beginning here. It's kind of a quick one. I saw some kind of interesting... Uh... See, right there, that this is what interests me the most, I think, is... See that right there, that little jerky motion? Yeah, a little bit. Right? Because I'm like, okay, well, that was... When I when I look, I go, okay, well, I don't know what does that. Like, that quick backtrack. 
it's got a slow it's moving probably pretty far away doesn't seem to enter the cloud though so it's on below cloud level yeah again that that little just jerk to the side throws me throws me for a loop it's pretty reflective whatever it is yeah like um, it seems in this sh 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 like zoom up you can kind of see like see that little fucking jog to the side a little little but, shutter yeah the little that shutter. could also be the, that could also be the cameraman like trying to zoom in with their finger like trying to hold the camera still while they zoom in with their fingers I don't think he's um, I don't first. think he's zooming because you don't see the movement up below like of the zoom. I'm gonna go ahead and say like I don't see that that zooming thing as a as an explanation for that. Just because one, I've used the phone, and two, I don't see the like that jerking motion of the camera going in and out. Um, like if you look at if you watch the roof line there, like you would get all of a sudden you would get more of the roof line as this person like was pinch zooming, right? Like if we look at this one here, like there's no zoom happening there. Uh, I mean, I'd have to, I mean not right there, shaky. but I'm, yeah. Um, depending on which direction they're facing, they said this happened at dusk, right before. Right before dusk. dusk. Yeah. So Venus is extremely bright and is will be in the sky like around dusk. And even if they say that zero stars are visible, technically stars are always visible. You just can't see them. Yeah. Right. So and Venus is extremely bright. So it's, if you you could see Venus and not see any other. I mean, it's a reason it's called the morning star. But like, <laughs> um, yeah, it would depend on depend on your uh, latitude too, how reflective it would be at that angle. So we well, also, so where, where was this? Look at this. this thing Austin, traveling. Texas. Look at this. Thing tra there's there's like. It, it's moving, right? And you have the clouds and the roof, because if you were going to say. If you're going to say, hey, this might be the guy just moving out from the roof that's giving us this optical illusion, I would say possibly. Other than you would see the same movement with the clouds, and you can see this thing coming down, passing clouds, right? As he comes up, you see the clouds are kind of stationary, and it's coming down. And I'm like, Venus don't move like that, and the Earth didn't just start rotating faster. Yeah, it's uh, perhaps I'm looking at little star chart here this video was shot when this video was shot um september 16th 2021 oh okay right because right now venus is visible in october october 9th yeah so this is at, at after west after sunset venus should be visible but a little bit before but before it might still be just a, but that's that looks pretty high in the skies but I don't know. Another glowing orb. Not not a lot of definition. Hard to tell. Um, all right. Zero to Gimlin. I'll start Gimbal this time. Uh, I'll start. Uh, I'm going a little higher. The Which strikes me odd. I would get on board with Venus and Gatorade. Um, but the the jerky motions to the side and stuff gives me the appearance that this, whatever this thing is, is flying. Um it has the flashing lights appear if you on some of the zoom in ones it does look like it has the flashing lights so which makes me think that maybe it's some sort of aircraft but some of the maneuvers it does i i just don't i can't understand it so um with all that i'm i'm giving this one a three out of five i'm going right in the deadpan in the middle i don't know what the hell it is is it ufo i don't i don't know but i have no explanation for it uh, I'll go next. So I, I will say that uh, a lot of times when people say like uh, the just for future reference, but a lot of times when people say like, oh, it changed colors or it was changing from red to blue or red, green, uh, you know, shifting through colors and stuff like that, that can often be attributed to changes in the atmosphere. Like it can become like atmospheric pressure and stuff that is known to affect light on such a scale. So if you see like Mars and when you see Mars in the sky and in it like at night, you can see it changing colors and things like this, but that's because the the air density in the atmosphere is changing, like the air currents and stuff that you wouldn't be able to see, but they will affect how light uh, comes through our atmosphere. So you sometimes it'll change colors. So something like this, I would say, yeah, flashing lights, maybe. 
but also it could again be venus could be the culprit here it usually comes out right before right after sunset um it is extremely bright in the sky i don't i don't uh, me looking at it doesn't look like it's a lot of unusual movement or intelligent movement just looks like it's just kind of sitting there um i it's hard for me to say that the some of the movement could could not be attributed to to camera operator like they just got really excited to to film something so i would I, i'm on a one for this one this person without 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 more information like what direction they're facing well how about i tell you this this person in their description says it's definitely not a star okay well venus is a planet yeah okay <laughs> Uh, but, uh, they said they said that it 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 was um you know it was moving and there are no drones allowed in the area due to the proximity of the airport of Austin okay. Bergstrom Airport. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to score it down there with Dan. I believe just I'm looking at star charts and all the planets in Austin, Texas for the time frame. Actually. It's probably not Venus, because it says uh, it says okay visibility, but Jupiter and Saturn also have perfect visibility at this time. Hmm. And just uh, just the way it glows before you can see any other star makes me think it's probably some type of heavenly body. And I mean, yeah, light refract refraction though. So you're really... saying it's angels? I'm saying it's God. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, going down there with the one. Fan. I mean, it could definitely not be a star because Jupiter and Saturn are also planets. <laughs> or it could be God. Yes. So flat Earth or suck it. Uh, what's your, not hiding it. What's your zero? What's your zero to gimbal? What did you already say? I'm down with one again. One again? Oh, that's a, yep. it's a rough week to be a UFO with you guys. There's, these uh, orbs, man, they just they look too uh, they look too glowy atmosphere, you know um again if it were, it's just more information like if i would have been like okay where exactly like which direction were you facing and yeah, then, then you know could, what what degree like how what was the angle that you were looking at it and then we, we could do, like hey wasn't this it wasn't this yeah yeah we, we, could, we could just go that we could take stuff off the list would be nice but yeah um hmm. this next case comes from philadelphia pa um october 4th the submitter says they thought it was a plane at first Ooh, but then that's... it wasn't so without further ado let's get into it this is mufon case 118444 while walking home i originally noticed a single light moving through the sky shortly after another light seemed to be trailing it and then another until there was three then they formed a triangle pattern and began to move together in unison this is when I decided to record, convinced that I was witnessing was UFO and no longer planes. Then they all disappeared. Um, triangle? The triangle? I mean, how many videos have we seen now with these orange lights in that triangle shape? Like we watched that one from Chicago Heights uh, on the UFO last week. Um, you know, there was one of, from Brazil exactly you know looked has that same look these orange lights seemingly in unison uh moving together yeah it is weird is the triangle changing shape like as one speeding yes, up one's one yeah. looks like they're so it's definitely not the tips of like an invisible craft like we talked about before. Before, yeah, and and then looks like it enters the cloud. <clears throat> Excuse me, loses one, and we're losing two. Looks one's like the of the yeah in the cloud. Yeah, some cloud cover coming in, and yeah. kind of losing them in the clouds. Really gone. Another video of them, of the one. Oh, 
whatever it is doesn't appear to be moving at like any kind of high rate of speed though it's it is seemingly either like crawling through the sky or stationary or it's just or it's pretty far away and yeah don't speed looks slow All right, i'm just gonna fast forward this one because i know there's some I leave all the unedited versions on our YouTube. So if you want to watch the full unedited clip with the original audio, you can find the links in the description. Um, that's pretty much it for this one. If I remember, it just gets the last one uh, drifting by itself before it gets lost in the clouds. But um, I mean, this site right here, I mean, I'm starting to see a lot of this right on ones I, I'm looking into. Uh, people talking about it's it's this same same shot basically in all over the place yeah we definitely have some type of i think these are craft in atmosphere like so they're not they're not some type of star or satellite i don't think three of them i like this one they don't have doesn't they're not blinking like they don't have it's not like the air like the commercial airline lights blinking white or red or green well a lot of people when we have posted other ones they you know there's a good discussion on one of our other videos of this exact kind of set of lights and some people were like oh it's that's just starlink satellites and then um it was refuted by other people in the comments posting videos of the starlink satellites and they they can look similar except that they don't seemingly hover, they continuously travel and always like in a line. Some might be a little off of a line, but not to this extent. And they like travel like at a pretty good pace. They don't hover. And these seemingly are stationary in the sky, right? It's not like you're seeing them move towards this building, away from this building. Um, it, it's there's it's strange, right? Like we, uh, I the one in um, Chicago Heights that we talked about last week. They look like in a straight line, right? Remember when they came out? And then they formed this shape, right? Yep. So, yeah. Um, who wants to take this one? Uh, who wants to zero to gimbal this one first? I'll gimbal it. I'm going to go not all the way, but not a one. I'm going to go with a three because I think these are craft. I mean, they might be aircraft, like our aircraft, but... The lights aren't blinking. They seem to be some in some type of. Uh, at least they start in some type of formation, then they kind of just disappear. So I don't know. We got three three ET drones scoping out this place, going with, with a three. Hmm. Uh, I'll go. Um, I I'm gonna go higher with this because I'm with the amount of videos like this that I've now seen of these orange, you know, Charlie Red Stars making a triangle formation all across. I'm saying, like, we've had videos in Chicago, uh, videos in L.A., uh, videos from Brazil. I've seen videos from Peru, like, this, of this seemingly shape, you know, Arizona, seeing these everywhere. So I, I'm starting to, you know, question what these could possibly be. Um I'm going higher, man. I'm I'm starting to think that these might be uh, UFOs. This might be a new UFO flap of this seemingly whatever these crafts are. Uh, I'm going to four. Oh. Um, again, I wish I knew which direction that they're facing. Like, I could probably go as high as a two, maybe, just because they disappear. But it also appears that there seems to be like a bit of a hazy, a hazy uh, cloud cover over it possibly could contribute to its the disappearance but i mean there's a number of constellations that kind of look the same like that one or at least a couple stars not even constellations but just like star clusters that kind of would fit that bill depending on which direction they're facing they're facing yeah but you can't even see through the cloud cover into the sky i can see those stars though i'm saying those stars would be bright enough to be like be picked up like you could see those through like it doesn't have to be they just have to be brighter than your normal stars or you know background stars i suppose well i'm i'm saying if you look up if you look up in that video you can see there's a break it looks like a break in the clouds and you can see the sky 
So I'm saying I don't think you would see the stars through the clouds if that was stars. Right. And, and and if you watch like this portion right here, stars don't move like that, right? And this you can tell by the video this person isn't causing that issue because they would have to move quite a distance to make the make these star formations like cover that you know what I mean to give you that perspective change like if you watch the chimney right like see where it starts that's movement right so I'm gonna go ahead and say your zero to star theory is zero that's not those aren't stars. well it could also be shifting the angle of the camera itself it's not like a it's a fractional movement it's not even like that much of a hole that far if they're just like moving the camera like just like panning it rotating it on an axis like it wouldn't have to go that far i think i think these these are moving those whatever are moving. these are i think they're moving at a distance yeah those, they're are, definitely... those are moving 100 percent moving that's not a camera trick but so dan you're what are you going as high as a two or you're giving it i give it a two again i'd like to know what direction they're facing and if i give me a little bit of time i could probably like google map it or something and figure it out exactly which way they were facing but um to me there's a number of there's a number of constellations that would fit that bill and it's not moving fast enough to not be a constellation earth is rotating could be a product of the earth's rotation <laughs> moving too fast if you if you submit a video to maester dan you got to make sure to include angle direction time dan. Of day. I mean, it would be helpful in a lot of cases. Look, I could, I could say, I could say it's, it's a UFO. I could just say it's a five and give it, and give no reasoning as to why I gave that, and just be like, yeah, it's a fucking UFO. But I would be happier to, to tick a bunch of other things off the list to be like, okay, it's not a UFO. I could say it's a five, easy, and just be like, yeah, it's a UFO. I don't know what it is. No, it's better. And it moved it's a better bit, when there's like... one that you can't, <laughs> that you can't. There's nothing you can say. But I, I, I don't subscribe to your th star theory. Just because sure. of, this, of this movement right here, the Earth doesn't rotate that fast. So, all right, I like uh, it. Let's get into the next one here. Thirty-one. Where's this one coming from? Um, this one's coming from Gramblin La. Uh, this was submitted October fifth, twenty twenty-one. Um, they said, my family and I were at my parents' house helping my dad fix the cameras in the RV. My husband grabbed his binoculars, and him and our son started looking for planes. My son spotted a plane passing by, and as the plane passed by back over us, that's when we noticed the objects in the sky. These look familiar. Wait, this is Philadelphia again. No, or did this you is, misspell this it is... on the beginning? What? Oh, when you, you came in with the, there's Philadelphia oh, PA. Whoops. Did you skip one? There no, you go. I, I did the wrong one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. There. I wasn't looking when I turned the video on. <laughs> um, I was like, I don't think that's. Uh, this is a different one. Yeah. So this is, if you look at this, this is, um, you know, Tic Tac UFO. They think they spotted. Um, they had seen other planes in the sky, but then noticed this. And in the video, you can hear their uh, child saying, well, what is that? What is that? And the parents seemingly saying. Well, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, we kind of lose it in the trees here. Kind of see it up top there. Clipping along. Whoa, does a little... Some erratic movement there. A little whoopty. little whoopty. Maybe a loop-de-loop. -loop. A little whirly-durly there, I think. Uh, yeah hard to tell because it's like so bright it's so it's, it's you can just see it in the top there right and it's just trucking along um i think i have another clip of it you can just make it out whatever it is i'm squinting really hard yeah i'm i'm trying to like i it's I'll just honest, i can't I'm, really see anything yeah it's 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 really bright i mean they're obviously they're facing they're basically facing the sun so we know that we kind of know which way they're facing um, and I think that's just the full clip of the video. I have a little zoom in at the end here of a seemingly a flying white tic tac. 
Not going to lie. It looks like a plane. So now, do you Data. think then this right here... This one, this okay. movement right here goes backwards, up, down, left. Well, that, that coincides in me. Yeah, exactly. I can't remember that, exactly the directions that you <laughs> that you said. Yeah, <laughs> you, you you identified yeah, the camera yeah. movement perfectly. Uh, uh yes, I also. Um, or is the UFO following the movements of the camera? Maybe position locked to <laughs> the camera. Um. Well, this one, again, you know, they say it at the beginning when they when they do uh, these extraterrestrials have advanced motion tracking technology that allows them to coincide with the movement of cameras that are filming them. We just don't see enough erratic movement from this thing, and we we've had other Tic Tac videos that we've looked at and posted where they seemingly, you know, skip ahead and 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 move a little more erratically. This is just flying in a straight line. So I, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably a one. I'm going to go ahead and say that's a jetliner flying out of L.A. A big old jet airliner? Big old jet air, airliner during the day. <laughs> uh, I you know sometimes, hey, but I don't know why they'd say we've seen other aircraft, but this one looked different. What was different about this one? I think it was just further away, so they couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> yeah, this is a one. You said this is Grambling, Louisiana? Yeah, so not LA. Right. Oh, I thought you said LA. I said La. So it can't be a jet airliner, yeah. Zell. Wasn't in LA. And everyone in knows LA. Louisianans don't have airplanes. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't even know what's the size of Grambling, Louisiana. Now, these uh, next, these next two videos... Um, are both unbelievable. Um, this first video comes from um, Man Manhattan, uh, New York, and Sounds this right. is was submitted to Mufon August first, twenty twenty one, and this is what they say unequivocal evidence of an alien gray that they caught on camera in their apartment. Without further ado, let's just sit back and watch this one. Oh, sorry, this one here. Alien great in their apartment. Yep. It's a little well, teaser. that's a fucking... Um, the fuck is that? Big head? Almond mm -hmm. shaped eyes? Smooth looking scaly skin. What's it? I mean, what what interest does it have in the kitchen? <laughs> Let's get a I'm, snack. Yeah. It's looking through the glass. Hey, hey, what's in there? <laughs> what's doing in there? Oh, zoom. fuck. That's an alien right there. Now, um, this was submitted to Mufon. The only you think uh, you think a video of this quality would have a lengthy description of someone, you know, saying, "Wow, this happened. This and then I saw this thing. It was in my house." This that. the description is literally two hours of missing time. No context. Were they abducted? None of that. Just two hours missing time. The so second, they, they woke up with the video, but they missed. They forgot the time. I don't know. I don't know if they took the video, paused the video, and then were abducted. The second thing is, if you go to the original video of this in the comment section, um, the audio for me, for someone, if this was in my house and I had the wherewithal to film it, I'd be like, holy fuck. Holy shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. What the hell is that? <laughs> There is nothing like it, I and I mean just utter silence. Yeah, right? if you want to see a shaky video, that that would be the one for me. If I was filming that alien, <laughs> oh, now you got to go all Stardust Ranch on them. Get your get your samurai sword out. Now, the two things with this is 
these are actually videos submitted and there's plenty of videos like this one submitted to MUFON. Um, it, you know, you, you hate to say, cause I'm like, you know, if you look at it, you're like right there, you're like, that is the description of a gray. I mean, it looks just like Zell here, right? <laughs> it could, it, it, where Zell, where were you August 1st? Um, but I'm pretty sure that I've seen like at any spirit Halloween, it is spooky season. Any spooky season that the, the like that you can, I've seen these alien dummies that look just like that. But yeah, it, 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 like, do you see that movement there? Like, well, it's mo- it, the thing is, is like for me, the movement that gives it away is that it's moving its whole body. Yeah, it's but, not like it's not moving individual. It doesn't look like parts. Of, individual parts of his body that are articulated. It's like moving. It's see how it like, it shifts from side to side. It moves a back and forth. It yeah. doesn't like move separate parts of its body. It's like, so there's what actual, you're is there's another little alien below it. Yes. No, that, dude, that's just mm-hmm. how we move. That's how we move. We don't move like humans. We have to move our whole body in one motion like that. Yeah. They don't have any muscles or anything. They're just like, they're an exoskeleton. Yeah. You know, so it's just like they just have to move their whole body. There's no it, inside that guy's head. It's a, it's a oh, it tiny alien. <laughs> like, yeah. Right here, right here. Gives it is a <laughs> takes <laughs> the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. He's like, oh, short. You thought I was a short gray. I'm a tall gray. I've been, cr- I've been squatting, <laughs> squat walking this whole time. Um, it's the description and the audio in this one that give it away. Like I, I'm. The, the video, obviously, you know, there's sh- strange movements that don't make sense. But I, I'm I more would... surprised that it took two hours for an alien to make a sandwich yeah. in their kitchen. It's my thing is, that, like, looking at this thing, I'm like, okay, well, maybe if if there was everything's off with this video, the, the video looking at it doesn't make sense with your eyes. The description, you're like, why would you not write a, a why would you only have five words in a description if you think you've got a an alien on video you you think you'd be a little more excited to like write some context of this and then thirdly like the audio there's just no audio you where's the light coming from in their that. kitchen is it like the fridge open I, I don't know but <laughs> like a motion light or something maybe in the kitchen i don't have motion lights in my kitchen well, I'm just saying you might not, but maybe these weirdos do. Maybe this. I don't know anybody in the kitchen. Who has this might be outside, just peeking. Like this, like oh, this okay, looks like it's outside. Kitchen. Actually, it might be outside and it's peeking in the house because it would make more sense when it's now outside this door, looking sure. in. Sure, okay, right? that makes more sense. It just if from here, outside. it looks like he's looking through like a kitchen porthole, right? <laughs> but that's right, that's okay. probably a yellow outside, uh, like fluorescent bulb illuminating oh, sure 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 a street light it could be a street yeah. light it could be anything yeah, yeah. Yeah. okay that makes more but sense with, with for me it's like you have i have three strikes in my head it's the audio the description and the video now if the other two things were lined up for me i might be able to look past some of the weird movement of this person being like it moved like any like nothing i've ever seen before like it, it seemingly floated i i would then it would give me a doubt of my brain of being like, well, is this, is this possible? But it's so, for me, it's so, that's a hoax. This is a hoax video yeah. submitted to move on to, for whatever reason. <laughs> it just, yeah, it, yeah. This is 100% undeniable proof. That's my buddy, <laughs> my buddy, Rich checking out the house, probably abducted these guys, took some samples used a triangle um, probe. I'm going with the five. Uh, I'll go with the three. I'll go middle. It could be. It could be that just the movements, that the strange movements that we're seeing is a is a being that is unfamiliar with Earth's, Earth's gravity. Like, it's just, it's un... It's unfamiliar with the surroundings and the, the gravitational forces of the surface of our planet. And that's just how they move. That there's, It's either there's, you know, we talked about grays, whether it's some kind of like bio suit, like biohazard suit or some sort of covering that makes them seem like they don't have any articulation. It just makes it a stiff movement, maybe to compensate for some of the uh, um, maybe any type of other planet besides ours, um, but just for exploration and, and whatever. And he was just poking around the house because that's what they do. <laughs> um this next 
this next one and the last video. Uh, this is a disc UFO outside a cabin, super close up. Um, and this one is from Pinayland, Pinaylands, uh, New Jersey. Um, this was submitted August 15th. It's MUFON case. You saw it there. So we have a seemingly. That's a UFO. Uh, just a floating disc. Now duck that pine tree. Hovering. Mm -hmm. It's looking for the juicy devil. Yeah. They're here to pick it up. Or it's dropping one off. They are <laughs> ET, ET beans. Oh, oh and different now the angles. second shot. Yeah. He says this is a second UFO. This is the second one. A little slow mo shot of it. Like, so you saw two UFOs. Yeah. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. And so, he, he in between those UFOs, he stopped filming. No, he, yeah, and he edited. He, well, he seemingly, from watching the video, he spliced the clip. Uh huh. And then. But he only submitted the, he submitted the. <laughs> A split clip. Yeah. That's a okay. little zoom in. All right. Well, um, Mark, well, that that's a that's a UFO. I, right. You look at this thing. I mean, if you just watch this video and like right here, I'm like, hey, that looks like something strange. Um, the description of this video was. Again, I'm just saying if I saw this and I'm in the woods and I see these discs and I go through the trouble to submit to MUFON, I'm going to give a little narrative of what I saw. This person Some said, colorful commentary. This person said, I, de I decided to leave the area. That's the description of this video. Good, good call. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm okay. Not, not sure. wrong. Um, then when you get into the audio... This is a weird one because uh, this person is seemingly talking to people off camera that you can never hear. He He's going, oh, my God, wake them up. We got to get out of here. Oh, my God. Man, what is that? We got to get out of here. Go get them. Go get well, them. Sounds like a person who's trying to leave the area. <laughs> yeah. Um, but a telltale sign for me here is there's a frame issue, right? right around here right there oh, oh. Yeah, it just kind of clicks to the side there yeah or that's a time dilation right Damn. that's either a time dilation and this thing is whatever it is is maybe preparing to move and you're just seeing it shift or when you're editing you didn't have this thing locked into like he maybe obviously had two different ones but uh I think it looks like an editing issue for me only because this, this video is edited because they put in a cut right here. Right. And then a cut back to the original. So for me, I'm like, it's, I, if this is to be believed that it's unequivocal proof of two disc UFOs, they would seemingly be tiny because if you're looking at the trees, they don't look to be that high in the sky. It looks pretty low. And then it's, it's, uh, you just, I just think you would put more effort into your description and your, you know, your acting chops in the video. So that's, that's what kills me for this one is the acting and the description. And then with this video, I think it's, uh, another, a goose egg at the end. Goose egg? Uh, goose egg for you? Yeah. Um, I'm on the opposite. This is a five. One hundred percent. Fucking aliens right there. That's what you got. It's we, yep. sitting there. He said there's two of them. Like, I mean, there's two of them. I don't know why one would leave and one would come back. Maybe um, they're switching off, but maybe they're just doing a. Could be a topographical survey or something like that of the. 
and it's pine lands new jersey i'm not familiar with where the the pine lands if it's in the in the pine barrens and stuff like that but that's something like it looks small but then again that could be some type of drone could be some type of um diagnostic equipment or something that they're using and the way that it just hovers there i mean it doesn't seem to there's no sound you said there's no sound coming from the object right well there's no description in, in the video there's no sound Right, so there's no sound. I said that's what I'm saying. Like, I, we don't have the audio. I I don't have the audio. Um, we have, so, but we you have said the, the person's no, the, no, the audio. We have video audio, and that that's it's not picking up any noise from the craft. Oh, I thought you said there was somebody talking about go wake them up and whatever. Is that what you said? There was an audio. Yeah, it's the person, but there's no there's no like you can't pick up any noise from a craft. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's no sound issuing from the craft. So, you know, you'd think there'd be some type of sound, whether it's like if it's magnetic levitation, anti-gravity, maybe there's some piece of kind of um, could be nothing. Again, we don't really have the technology to we're not familiar with the technology to make <laughs> to know if it would make a sound or not. Um, but something right there. Yeah. Five. <laughs> yeah. Without a detailed analysis of the video. I mean, this they're presenting this as true. I'm going to believe them. So this is a five. All right, there you this go. Is a five. This, that's a ET craft right there. Um, let us know your thoughts uh, in the comments. Are we Please, to lunch? Yeah. Um, are we crazy? Are we shitty at spotting UFOs? Are we excellent at spotting UFOs? Um, let us know in the comments. And without further ado, I think, I don't know how we normally do it. Keep those Love eyes. Sleep. Yeah, just keep saying. On the sky. <laughs> To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing, follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing. <laughs>